Hey, it's Dr. Mike Roussel with another installation of Ask Dr. Mike. Uh, today we're at CrossFit Lionheart in State College, and I'm here with my training partner and certified strength and conditioning specialist, Tom Bumgardner, and we're going to answer some questions about weight training. So today's question we're going to ask, we're going to answer, it comes from a Twitter follower about Romanian deadlifts. So today's question is about stiff-legged or Romanian deadlifts, and it comes from a Twitter follower, and the question is, uh, when I do RDLs, should I bring the weight all the way down to the ground? Because when I do, my back starts to round, and he's wondering, is that bad? And I think that's a, a great question about how far you should go down and when you should stop based on your own flexibility, so we'll just kind of pass it on over to Todd here. Yeah. What do you think about that when you're doing RDL? That's a good question. Honestly, you really should never go so low that your back rounds. So if you go the whole way to the ground and you have your back rounding, that's not a good position to be in. Like Dr. Mike alluded to, it's really mobility and flexibility dependent, so each person should have a different range of motion when it comes to remaining dead. Alright, so let's load up the bar and um, I'll be Todd's fitness model and we'll do some, uh, some RDLs and you can see kind of based on my own personal flexibility and mobility how far you should go down and, and Todd can give us some other coaching cues to make RDLs a great exercise for you. So we have Dr. Mike set up here to do the Romanian deadlift and the easiest way to determine uh, how well to do the lift is actually just to coach it. So we're going to get him set up. Uh, Dr. Mike's going to set up with his hands just outside his shoulder width. Uh, he wants to get out here so his, his hands aren't hitting his legs. I've seen it's a common mistake. People set up with their hands too narrow and uh, they actually mess up their grip by having their hands on their legs. So he's going to set up a little wider than that. He's going to address the bar by walking up closer to it. He's going to get make his spine long before he even picks the bar up and he's going to get air in his belly and brace his core. Now he's going to pick the bar up. Just take two steps back, one with each foot. We don't want to step back too far. We want to make this efficient. You're wasting energy if you're trying to walk five feet away from the rack and then you just have to bring it back in. From here, Dr. Mike is going to activate his lats by pulling the bar back into his body. And he's going to do this for the entire movement. Now, the movement from here is very simple. The knees unlock and the hips go back. Everything else stays rigid and in a nice line. Okay, so come on back up, good. So notice how he went low, but it didn't go so far that his back rounded. He kept in a good range of motion, and he kept in his spine in a pretty good position. But what we want to see for this next rep is Dr. Mike's chin lifted on that last one. We want him to keep it nice and neutral, so he's long from, for the entire length of his spine. Good, and back up, good. Now as he finishes, all he wants to think about is pulling the bar into his body and pushing his hips to the bar by squeezing his, his glutes. Good, go ahead and wrap it. So, the three simple things to think about uh, when you're doing the RDL is keeping your spine as long as possible. So if you extend your neck, your spine's no longer long. It cuts off at, at the point where you extend. Uh, you also want to make sure that you keep your lats activated by pulling the bar into your body. And you want to reach with your hips and then finish by pushing your hips to the bar. Yeah, and I think that point that Todd makes about uh, pulling with your lats is definitely something that's very an underrated tip for uh, RDLs and deadlifts in general. I think when Todd first showed me that, it really changed how I did the movement. And you can really feel, especially once you move up in the weight, you can really start to feel that contraction in your back. And it does, it makes you feel a lot stronger and it makes the movement a lot safer. Yeah, uh, yeah it keeps the bar close to your body, which uh, like uh, Dr. Mike said, it's gonna be safer, but it's also gonna make you stronger. Uh, another thing that I wanna talk about that kinda helps with that, that I, I didn't go through the first time, is actually I want, I want you to watch Dr. Mike's elbows. Uh, go ahead and set up and, and lift the bar out. Go ahead. And then go ahead and activate your lats. Good. Now tuck your elbows tight to your sides. So, so you create that torque at your shoulders, you'll get more lat activation and you'll, you'll create a sensation in your body called irradiation, which means that muscles are contracting because other muscles are contracting is the simplest way to say it. And it just basically makes you stronger. It tells your nervous system that it's safe to give your body more juice and you can generate more force. So as you pull the bar back into your body, also torque your elbows to your sides. Look, nice flat spine, it's beautiful. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. So that's how you wanna RDL. You don't need to bring the bar all the way down to the ground. Like Todd said, really focus on keeping that neutral back and your spine nice and long.
All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this Ask Dr. Mike video. If you have any questions for me or for Todd, you can post them below the video at YouTube or at the blog at microcell.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and come back every Friday for a new Ask Dr. Mike video.